guys. Let's get started. I was going to go on earlier, but then I was like, huh, I am not prepared at all. So, we got some milk here. We got the mozzarella cheese for later, so I'll just put that over there. Pepperoni, ground beef. Uh, Worcestershire sauce. Pretty sure that's how you say that. A1 sauce. Let's put that over here. Put that over here. Some black pepper. Salt. Uh, the roasted vegetable Ritz crackers. Bell pepper. Onion. Onion. Some onion. I think we'll put that first, actually. So I'll put that there. Some milk. Nothing's exactly measured. I really just kind of whatever. Uh, never, I never make the same thing twice, uh, or the same thing the same way twice. Uh, and uh, so this is this is about as a standard a meatloaf as I make. And uh, I never do any measuring, so it's always good. Let's get this. Uh, uh, well, crap. Probably shouldn't mix the vegetables with the meat, but that's okay. No, we'll just whatever. It doesn't matter. Let me just wash my hands real fast. I opted, to, uh, um, I opted to not do the pickles today. Didn't really have the right kind, so I figured uh, let's give it. <coughs> uh. Oh, goodness, hello. This is way beyond my peanut butter and jelly skill. <laughs> Uh, we also have some uh, um, chili powder, and uh, I think that's about it. So, if anybody knows the best way to get rid, uh, uh, get the meat out of the package, is by creating a hole on this side, and uh, then cutting off this side. I definitely used the wrong kind of knife for this. I should have used that for the vegetables. It's been a long time since I've done a cooking video. I have a couple of them for my sandwiches on Facebook. Let's keep it going. So we got three pounds of meat, which means I'm probably going to use up all the pepperoni. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to do the mission real fast. I'm blind. Uh, sorry, oh, I'm busy. Yeah, I got my. Are yep. you on your live feed? Yeah, it's fine. Sorry. See how I'm glad you got there. Yes. Scissors work better. Yeah, you know, I'm just kind of whatever. Just winging it. It's been a long time since I've made meatloaf. So, uh, you know, I'm just winging it, guys. This will be fun. Probably get a spoon or something for the rest of it. But it's always easier with your hands. The first time. Okay. Seems like I got a big enough bowl. So. Sorry guys, I'm probably not gonna be able to see the, the chats a whole lot. So if I don't respond to whatever you're saying, and you need me to respond to it, then uh, I, I apologize. I'm just, you'll just have to keep trying. And uh, and I will read them all when I 
watch it again later, so you'll just have to forgive me there. Dirty hands give a flavor. <laughs> I did wash my hands. The air cleaned them. Thought it was culture. All right, so let's just whatever. Uh, pour some milk in there and put some eggs. Let's just put it right there. Probably should be cracking these into something else first. Huh? I'm not an expert, guys. Maybe I'll add one more egg. Let's go. Let's grab another egg real quick. figure out some way to quickly wash my hands. <sighs> All right. So let's go ahead and add the... I almost don't want to say it because it's, it's entirely possible I'm not going to say it right. This is a very sweet, or excuse me, salty thing. Now we got the main ingredient, guys. I forget to shake it up. Remember the buddy system? We use it all potentially hazard situations such as bison Yeah, yeah. Dude, what? He's making a cooking channel. Only a little, it's only part of my uh, uh, my uh, many talents. This does not look appetizing. I'm sitting with peanut butter and jelly, the meal of kings. Yeah, I don't make no standard meatloaf, guys. I don't make nothing standard. I love to make things fucking amazing. So let's just put a little more in there. Got to save some for later when I'm putting it on my stuff. Um, let, let's go ahead and add this, uh, this mozzarella cheese, as for fun. Uh, I've been putting more on when it's, uh, when it's in the oven. Got some Ritz crackers, but let's mix it up real quick. Gotta start cutting things. Okay, here's some pepper. Let's put some pepper in there. Not really coming out very well. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Be careful. All right. Put some salt. Mm -hmm. Probably good. Some chili powder. It that might have been a bit, a bit much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, this is constitutional. Tracy, we make some mashed taters as well. Darn tootin'. And uh, I don't even mind showing you guys the potatoes. Idaho, they know there's business. They know how to make mashed potatoes. Whew, that is really in my nose. Let's grab a spoon. Go. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I'll use that instead. So I know there's a certain way to do things, guys, but that's just not how I fly. I like to just fuck it, you know. So we're just gonna add things until it's consistent, and then uh, mix it up. And if I want more, I'll just add more. I'm probably gonna wind up putting 
um, a little more milk, but it does seem a bit runny. Make some idea. Did I put a half teaspoon of cinnamon in it? I, I, uh, I, I'm kind of allergic to cinnamon, so I'm going to uh, avoid. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to opt out of that. I'm sorry. Oh goodness, I'm not at the bottom. I'd vote for the dog test after this is done. <laughs> dog passes in the meal. You should all. You should as well. Hey, young Barkley. Dogs will eat almost anything. That video I sent you. I loved it. Wait, are you talking about the uh, baby? Because I guess you you sent me a baby and one thing. I love them both. Either that or you just sent it to me and seen it. You ain't eating me that? Give it to Mikey. <laughs> He'll eat anything at human garbage disposal. Yeah, I mean, I, if it's delicious, I'll eat it. So I'm just, uh, you know, it looks a little runny, guys. So we're just going to add some crackers. And uh, if I need to add a lot of crackers, I'll just do that. <coughs> Damn, I'm going to be coughing. Yeah, looking good. Should have probably ground up the beef a bit more, but that's okay. All right, let's crush some crackers here. Actually, let's wait on the crackers. I am going to set this aside and uh, let that uh, A1 sauce set in. And now we're going to uh, cut up some pepperoni. And then I'll use the, uh, well, this is the vegetable. This is the vegetable one, but I've already used it for meat, so let's Seriously? Here we go. I guess I should grab some scissors. That might be good. Maybe I'll use up all of it, but uh, I think I'll save some for a sandwich later. That should be enough. It's not enough, but it'll have to do. Seize up. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anyone. You're, you're eating that later? Nice. Yeah, this is really good stuff, guys. Really good stuff. And, uh, um... Uh, it, it's just packed with flavor, guys. I I do not um, I do not settle for the standard anything. I want this shit to taste fucking amazing, and uh, so I'll just take the original recipe, which is just cornflakes and fucking you know stupid shit like that, uh, and, you know ketchup and stuff, and I'm just like that's boring. Let's put some honest gas in it. Set a fire. And uh, it's important that these pieces aren't terribly big and not terribly small either, guys. Um, if you get them too small, they they don't necessarily, um, you know, you can't really taste it all that much. The taste of the meat is just so powerful that uh, um, a lot of times it'll just turn the meat, you know, orange and uh, nothing more. Do, 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 do. Let me keep a keep an eye on these. Yeah, cornflake meatloaf. What a joke. That's so boring. I just gotta make sure I don't cut myself. So I just kind of do them into thirds most of the time. That way you get a nice, delicious bite of pepperoni when you eat it. And uh, remember, I don't make the same thing twice, you know, like uh, I, you know, I was going to add some pickles this time, but uh, dad got the, unfortunately I got the wrong, so um, I'm just going to opt out for next time. 
And, uh, you know, I normally have like many colors of vegetables, but uh, we're just going to do green bell peppers and uh, red onions. Sorry, I just don't want to cut myself, so I'm concentrating on these pepperonis. Real quick. Okay. Uh, put it right there. Let me just wash these real fast. Set them aside in the dishwasher later. All right, let's mix it up. The only tough thing is that the pepperoni likes to stick to itself, but if you mix it up enough, it'll it'll do it. And then I think we'll add the Ritz crackers last. I have many colors of poop. Does that count? It does count. It always counts. <laughs> How's it going, Salty? Got a lot of really cool people in here, guys. Of course, anybody that comes to see my channel is awesome. I only have smart subscribers, guys, and that's not even me. That's you. You know, I, only you can prevent stupidity. <laughs> subscribe. Like and subscribe. I'm going to have to mix it up again soon, so maybe I don't have to do it so thorough this time around. You hear that uh, slopping. That'll work. Uh, yeah, I'll just set that aside. All right. Do I have any more meat that I need to add? Doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna take this aside. <laughs> Smart ass. Hey, you know, it's better than being dumbass. Hey, Metal Shell, butts do speak. Yeah, they have a bigger voice than most mouths. <laughs> if you doubt, would be many more Mr. Six. Huh? Oh, many more colors, yeah. <laughs> pepperoni meatloaf on his gas is a true artist. Yeah, pepperoni is the staple of any delicious dish. Just untuck my shirt there. All right. I always want to practice a good knife safety, of course, guys. And I am that. Uh, I know how to use a knife. Go ahead and well, I always like to make big old chunks because uh, you know you taste it more if there's bigger chunks. Sorry, I can't. I can't necessarily concentrate on the comments, guys. I I don't want this to take forever. Uh, but I also don't want to cut my fingers trying to pay attention to two things at once. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Yep, that looks good. I 
and then I think we can probably too many veggies that dish needs a little cowbell hey yeah just kind of get the consistency a little bit wide ranged don't want too big a chunks Is that enough onion? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's enough onion. Let's just kind of put that in our bowl. Oh shit! I guess I could just, I guess I just put it in there. And uh, if you ever don't want to get those tears, guys, what you do is you just put a fan over the uh, uh, board and uh, it'll brush all those vapors away and you won't get all teary. It doesn't bother me. Nice big old green bell pepper. <laughs> I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything, guys. Yeah, there's not enough veggies, actually. I like to have all the colors of the vegetables. All, you know, all four colors of the bell peppers, at least two onion colors. But I normally make this batch with about five pounds of meat and about, about a pound of uh, pepperoni and a crap ton of uh, vegetables. We're just making a simple thing. They cayenne fruits or vegetables? Or I guess I don't know what a cayenne fruit is. You know, it's pretty easy to not get cut by the knife. You just keep your damn fingers out of it and you should be fine. But it does seem to be a bit difficult for some people. Very strange. I used to work in deli, bakery, uh, you know, all, all kinds of, of food stuff. And, uh, um, and I have seen so many people cut their fingers wide open. And it's just like, dude, how? How did you do that? Like... Like, did you not think to keep your fingers out of the way? <laughs> Holy shit. You gotta break down the machine and clean it, and so it caused a huge trouble. Although, you know, it's funny, on my very first day of being a baker, I, uh, um, I was like, I wonder how long it's gonna be before I burn myself. And uh, uh, she was like, it won't take long. And, uh, and I was so proud of the cookies I had baked that I turned the pan and uh, I burned my arm right here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a scar there from when I burnt my arm. And I was just like, ha! Ridiculous! Yeah, like, oh yeah, it's gonna last a little while. Yeah. 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 Uh, whatever. I'm just winging it. We'll get them to be smaller here in a second. 
That's quite a bit of bell pepper, but that's okay. There's only two vegetables in this one. I was going to use carrots as well, but uh, I don't know if I like the carrots that we got. They seem to be uh, either picked too soon or too late. <laughs> All right. Oh. consistent enough, I think. Now let's try. Let's try a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that looks okay. You know, what's so funny is that you can actually buy an entire kitchen's worth of tools that'll make all this happen quicker. Uh, but to me, I think that it actually takes more time because you got to clean all those machines and you got to got to hold them and you have space for them and, and you know what 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 not. And it's just like, why don't you just cut it with your hands with a knife? Let's add that to the mix. Suppose I should probably start the oven. What was it? I think it was 350. Uh, yep. Yeah. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Curl your fingers when you're holding the veggies to chop. Don't want to see your fingers. Yeah, in the meatloaf. Yeah, I'm I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm very very versed with the with the uh, uh, with the knife, and um, I make sure my fingers are well well out of the way. Uh, excuse me. All right. Let's get this over here. I suppose I'm done with the cutting board. Lots of veggies, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pepperoni. Milk. Bunch of eggs. Maybe mayonnaise? Maybe I should have mayonnaise, guys. What do you think? I think I've done that in the past. I think I should probably add some mayonnaise. Nice little glob of mayonnaise. I mean, if mayonnaise is essentially eggs, so I guess uh, maybe it's not necessary. Mustard? Huh? Yeah, I don't know if I want to put mustard in there. It is actually nice and solid. I think I might add a little bit more milk there. I'm just going to mix this up a bit. It smells good. I'm using a uh, salad bowl, I believe. So this is kind of 
little out of this bowls element, but it's okay. Bowls a bowl. Hope that's consistent enough, but I still have to mix it when I put the Ritz crackers in. So let's get started on the Ritz crackers. And you know, we'll go ahead and do two bags. This one too here. Now I may not have to do two bags. Might add another egg. That'd be interesting. Or maybe I'll do that mayonnaise I was saying earlier. Because let me tell you, this is definitely very solid. Not very runny at all. You don't want it to be too runny, of course, but, you know, I like to have a nice consistency. And uh, I weighed myself this morning, guys, and I weigh about 102 pounds, so uh, I'm going to be eating a lot of this today. I didn't want to get the lean meat. I'm sure that's what we got. But, uh, you know, just kind of got to get my weight back up. Seems like, uh, you know, the, the steroids are making it a very uh, um, difficult to start losing or to, or sorry, to gain weight or something. Certainly gives me the energy. Jeez Louise. Freaking sitting there. Oh, I could run up these stairs. <laughs> it's like, damn, I shouldn't have ran up those stairs. And uh, these are the ve roasted vegetable kinds, guys. That's all the delicious flavor. These ain't no just butter. Bora, bora. Let's, let's see here. I'm actually overdue with some medicine, but I need to eat something with it. Uh, but that's okay. I think it, um, it'll be just fine. Oh, man, that looks so freaking delicious. See if I make sure I get all the bottom to the top. Eat fatty foods. Like bacon may help you put on some, yeah, put some weight on. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I'm totally cool with eating nothing but sandwiches, guys. But uh, apparently I really need to uh, stop that and uh, go ahead and get some variety in my diet. I think I might do, um, what do you call it, a tuna salad next. Which is a fairly simple dish. Well, 
It would be, except I'm, I'm the one making it. Uh, and I, I don't think I'd do pepperoni in my, in my tuna salad. Probably do a rotisserie chicken salad instead. Oh, goodness. All right. Looks like, mm, how much of this is left? I think I'll hold off on that. Just trying to think of, awesome. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's get these things into something to cook it in. I have a choice. Oh, goodness. I have a choice. I could do a, a little loaf on a, a pan where the grease will drain, or I can do it in a pan that, uh, Need a pretty big pan. I'm probably I'm not going to make the whole lot this time around. I'll put the rest in a bag and uh, and then have fresh stuff later again. Oh man, just standing here has really got me got me winded, guys. Okay. Yeah, I think that's done. Let's let's get the let's get the pan. Oh no. Okay. Good. There was nothing in the oven. Always check and see if there's something in the oven. Yeah. Uh, always check and see if there's something in the oven before you go turning it on, guys. I did not do that. So uh, just remember, sometimes people like to store things like pans in the oven, and I'm just like, what are you doing? It's a it's completely idiotic thing to do. Oh, me. Drop some celery. Should have probably buttered the pan, but I'm not an expert, guys. You can hear that splash, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm doing a pan because uh, I'm going to need the grease for my gravy. And uh, uh, if you use the the uh, grate. If you use the grate, then uh, it drips the drips the um, <sighs> drips the grease. Whatever. I'll just leave that on the table. Okay. Now uh, I seem to have forgotten. Uh, the temperature in which it needs to be, and the um, time. So we're just going to keep an eye on it, and that way I can actually talk to you guys and stuff like that. <sighs> okay, pretty sure that's good. What do I need to do here? It's probably okay to stick it in the oven, and then later I'll put some A1, put some cheese on it, and stick it back in. Let's do it. Set a timer for, let's, uh, let's say 20 minutes. Well, let, let's say 15. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm just that. Okay. All right. So in 15 minutes, we'll give it a check. I'm going to kind of kind of clean up a little bit here. Always fun. The aftermath, the cleanup is always fun. That'll go in the fridge. That'll be good to stay. Pantry, 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 trash. Three hundred fifty to seventy five, approximately thirty to forty minutes. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm definitely going to keep and keep an eye on it because, um, and, you know, all of those things are specific to the size pan, to the you know temperature, things of that nature. So um, I'm just going to keep an eye on it. 
I've never really followed the instructions before. I used to do things like add liquids with liquids, and you know, solids with solids, uh, and then mix them both together, but you know, it's just like, whatever. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Although you should crack your eggs in a separate thing, just in case you get a bad egg. You know, that's, that's always a, a, a bummer when you accidentally uh, crack an egg into a full dish. Not bad. Let's see here. This is trash. That's the dishwasher. Oh, oh. Yeah, and you know, uh, uh, what kind of crazy stuff do you guys do with your dishes? Because you don't have to follow the instructions, you know. You just have to kind of follow the specific guidelines that make things what they are. You know, like a uh, um, meatloaf has to do with ground beef, some kind of medium like a cracker. Believe it or not, I have passed a oh, have a past as a cook in restaurants. That's awesome. I mean, I I believe you. <laughs> oh, what do they do when the oven's in use? Oh yeah, that answered your question. Just make sure I didn't leave anything from your fingers. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of food there, uh, no bullshit. Goodness gracious. The, uh, the steroids I'm taking for my lungs uh, really kind of trick me, guys. Uh, they, they make it hard to determine whether I'm okay or not. And uh, uh, so I can really easily overexert myself by accident. And uh, um, it's kind of an annoying thing, but I won't be taking them forever, so that's always good. All right. The fridge. And it's wet. Breadcrumbs, I may try your cracker version. Yeah, for sure. I, I used to actually cook for the people I lived with, but still, I mean, my house, I still live there. I uh, just have to be here because, you know, it's more sanitary. Oh, that's okay. Just throw that away, throw that away, throw that away. It's pantry put away. And uh, they wanted their shit done exactly how it says in the book. And I'm just like, but, 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 but. You know, and they're like, oh, this is not what I wanted. I'm like, but it's just so much better. Like, they wanted cornflakes, guys. Plain cold cornflakes. And, uh, and I'm just like, what? I mean, you have the potential to make a really delicious dish. Just add pepperoni. And cayenne pepper. You know what we could do, actually? You know what we could do? Well, I'm already making something. I'll do that for another stream. It won't be a very long stream, but uh, I I make uh, really delicious snacks too, guys. Um, what you do is you Ritz uh, whatever cheese you like, and then a pepperoni on top. Stick that bitch in the oven. Excuse me, a, a toast a microwave for less, you know about twenty seconds. Uh, you know you, you want to stop it before it gets burnt, but uh, and then you've got yourself an amazing snack. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Mm -hmm. ah, now. It's much more fun trying your own ingredients. Yeah, and uh, remember, I don't ever do the same thing twice, guys. Certainly never in a row. Uh, I, I want to make sure that I'm always evolving with my flavors. And uh, almost always pepperoni is involved. Get some grapes. I should actually get some yogurt. It's 
kind of clean up my workspace here. right there guys just kind of trying not to cut myself always a good idea this dishwasher is so freaking amazing it's like uh, I, I have the habit of cleaning the things before I put them in there but uh, apparently you don't even have to do that you know things like baked on cheese of course or something else entirely but this is a really good dishwasher I'm not missing anything. It's much more fun trying everything. Yep, it sure is. I'm just gonna look at this. Oh, that's looking so good. It's delicious. At some point, I need to get a measuring cup. Hmm. Still not terribly familiar with this setup. Here we are. Need that. There it is. I didn't even think to see if the kitchen was clean, guys. But I guess it's always clean. My dad is a very independent person. Okay. Oh, that's a little far for me, but... in a bit. Hey Albert, hello! My goodness, I'm sorry I missed you. I was kind of busy. Uh, I, I'm feeling all right. I'm, it's gonna be, you know, right now it's just kind of a waiting game. I have to wait until I get my caseworker and I settled and then he'll set up an appointment with a doctor and as soon as, soon as I see the doctor he'll give me some tests and then when the tests come in, I'll be able to do a, a, a cocktail of medicine is what they call it. Or at least that's the popular way to say it. A little cocktail. And uh, um, today's medicine, guys, is so incredible. It is always It has always been a trial and error thing. Uh, medicine is, is not an exact science. And uh, some things don't work for some people while well, they work for others. And uh, fortunately for me, there have been a lot of guinea pigs in the last 30 years, uh, 30, 40 years, and uh, I'm just one more in the chain. It's always keep people happy around you, even if some get annoyed by you. Yeah, well, hey, well, you know, <laughs> a lot of people get annoyed by me, Albert. Uh, uh, mostly people that I work with a lot of the times. <laughs> I'm just like, good morning. And they're like, oh, there isn't enough coffee in the world. Yeah, and you know, I have you guys to help me stay strong, guys. You guys are, are, uh, are pretty awesome. And I already have a pretty big support group. You know, so, uh, I would say a support group outside of YouTube. But you guys help the most, I think. At least in the uh, moral uh, aspect. Uh, my father and mother... 
they they're amazing they they're very worried they're very concerned and very willing to help and uh it's kind of an adjustment for me because i i prefer to go to work come home to my own place where i'm not disturbed and do my art stuff and do whatever i want but right now i have no choice i am i am forced uh by the will of my health to uh, be as healthy as possible, to stay on my regimen. Seem to be in good hands. I am, I'm, ex I'm extremely fortunate, guys. Not everyone, in fact, very few people have the opportunities I have, guys. Uh, I, I have the added benefit of not being addicted to drugs, not being uh, uh, dependent on other people for the most part, and uh, um, in, in the sense that, uh, you know, I ha I'm self-motivated. Although it, it really helps to have other outside motivations, but, um, you know, it's, I don't deal with depression either. Like I don't, I haven't, I don't, I've never had a suicidal thought and, uh, that has not changed. William McCaw, hello. Glad to see you out and cooking. Yeah. You need to put some meat on them bones. I sure do. Weighed myself this morning. I was 102 pounds. It's just like, wow, that is not a healthy weight. It's looking good. It smells good, too. Ugh. Yeah, I hope everyone else is doing okay. Is everyone doing all right? Um, the, uh, um, you know, we've got the time to talk about uh, the kind of things that have happened to you guys today. Something's, hey, something smells good. Blue Ghost, hello. How's it hanging, buddy? I'm lurking. That's cool. That's fine. I love me some lurkers. Stay healthy. Stay alive. Receive help. And help people back. Yeah. Tell your story. Listen to the other people's stories. You seem to be the right person to always be around. Yeah, I certainly... Uh, it's not without effort. <laughs> it's definitely not without effort. I do not naturally make people happy. I, I naturally am a very bitter person with lots of nasty feelings about things I don't care for. But uh, I will be polite and and uh, try to help other people have a good day, just just because it makes me happy. I know it's kind of selfish, but at least it helps them too. Okay, so we've got one more minute on the oven, and that does not look close. Let's just add ten more minutes to that. You know, uh, like I've probably I've, I've explained a few times, but uh, in my past. I was never honest. I was never nice. I never ever had anything good to say about anything. And I uh, uh, had to put my cat down unexpected. A bad day today, oh man. Oh, you had to, oh man, young Barkley. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. If it's any consolation, I know what, what it, I, I've at least experienced it myself as well. I'm sorry to hear that. Unexpected. Well, you probably took him to the vet for something and they were like, oh, it's got tumors or bad teeth or cancer or something like that, right? Sometimes gives you a pot. <laughs> Your dad's a first chef French. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Let me, I'm trying to. Let me address one one comment at a time. Bad day today. I'm so sorry to hear that about your key cat. Special energy. Special K. <laughs> oh, so sad. Sometimes gives a positive energy for oneself and people like the positive energy. Nobody wants to be around someone who's bad, the negative guys. Nobody wants to be around someone who has nothing good to say, you know, and, you know, somebody asks you how you're doing. They don't want to hear that you're having a bad day. You know, they're just trying to make polite conversation. And uh, when you go saying, oh, no, and, you know, and then they got to ask and then they got to explain it. And then nobody understands what you mean, you know, and I'm just like, why don't you just say, yes, I'm having a great day. It's very important to have a great day every day. And, you know, and just kind of. Yeah, his kidneys. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's always so sad. And uh, that's kind of the price of having pets, guys, is they don't live as long as we do. And, you know, and then you've got to deal, you know, if you die, what happens to your, your poor babies? Trying to make others happy is definitely not selfish. <laughs> Love's got me by the ass again. Been alone since I don't know. Oh, poor Joe. I hope you can. The socially accepted in general is I'm okay or I'm doing well. When someone asks you how you're doing. Yeah, and you know, that's, that's the polite thing to do because, you know, I mean, people do care about your problems, but they got their problems of their own too. So it's just like, you know... <laughs> If you've got a close friend, yeah, you can you can uh, tell them about it. But if it's just a stranger, it's like it's like you know, how about you just uh, how about you just play ball? I gotta remember to eat some. Let's do this. Part of my medicine regimen is eating yogurt uh, because there is a medicine I'm taking that destroys all the bacteria in my gut. And uh, that bacteria is extremely vital to digestion. And uh, so part of my medicine regimen is actually eating yogurt, which is really funny. Or at least I think it's funny. So I'm just gonna have a bit of yogurt. Let's check on the food real quick. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, anti I'm Trying to remember, it has to be a certain kind of yogurt, but I don't know what what the difference is. Flavor of the natural flavor. Um, but all I know is that it has to be probiotic. Oh. Oh, anti yeah. Yeah, and you know, young Barkley, um, I, I actually, so I had a cat who, uh, she was born without, essentially without an anus. And uh, some medicines worked and then they stopped working. You know, some medicines, uh, uh, they just didn't work at all. And uh, she lived to be about eight, nine years old. Hey, Rika. And she was quite a, uh, uh, it was really uh, enduring because every time she sat down, uh, she would doll up a little bit of blood and poop. And so it was kind of like having to deal with that for her whole life. And, uh, but you know, I, I loved her still. And uh, one day she just started failing. She, um, I noticed when she couldn't get up on the couch and I'm just like, oh my gosh, are you okay? She started getting paralyzed from the back up and very slowly she was losing her strength. And uh, um, we tried. We tried what we could, but um, it just seemed to prolong the inevitable. And so I had to take her in and uh, have her put down because. Um, Rika, hey, what's up, Rika? I, I I guess maybe I said that, uh, but I just want to make sure. Looking good? Are you feeling better? I sure am. I'm about to feel even better. Let's check on this meatloaf. Yeah, it's looking good. Probably still needs a bit of time. Uh. Smiley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like those little emojis. Oh, we're just about to hit an hour, guys. That's awesome. Trying to remember what my regimen is right now. Let's see what it says I need to take. I do need to take that, but I think I'll wait until I'm eating before I take those. It's kind of late in the day, but it'll be just fine. What is in the meatloaf? Oh my goodness. Yeah, is it for the whole house? What else is on the menu? Uh, mashed potatoes. Oh man, I should have gotten some broccoli. Ah, oh, I should have brought. He was pushing you when they did so sad. Oh. 
we could have prolonged it, but that ain't fair. He was pushing it when they did so. So sad. Yeah. 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 You know, it's a really hard decision because, what you know, are you just going to let it suffer and die? Kidney failure is no play, uh, uh, no uh, walk in the park. And uh, um, it was the same thing for Billy. She, um, she couldn't reach the bathroom. She couldn't go to the bathroom by herself. And uh, it was the day I, uh, it was the day I had to squeeze her to pee that I decided that uh, this has probably gone on too long already and uh, I talked to my sister who actually you know it was actually her cat but I was taking care of it and uh, um, in a, and we said our goodbyes and uh, took her to the vet and I cremated her myself I built a nice big old bonfire gave her a box and filled it up with her bones and, and ash and what the Pembermers go yeah yeah purring yeah I had uh, my mom and uh, her, uh, you know, her husband had a cat, uh, Sabrina, and uh, they just took her in to check her up. And they know they found out that she had all her teeth, every part of her bone, everything was rotten. And uh, they had to, they brought her in to be checked in and they took her home in a box. It was very sad, very sad. Um, what's in the meatloaf? Man, dude, there's pepperoni, there's bell peppers, red onions, a uh, bunch of eggs, a bunch of milk, vegetable baked Ritz cracker, well, roasted vegetable or whatever, uh, Ritz crackers, and uh, I'm trying to think of what else. There's a bunch. There's a lot of stuff. A1 sauce. My brother had HIV. The meds they gave him were very helpful for years. No one would have known he was positive, HIV positive, without him telling them not to be a Debbie Downer. That's not a downer. That's awesome. I, I you know, and when I first found out, it was extremely scary. But um, I'm actually quite fortunate that it isn't anything else. You know, I'm just really, really glad that I do not have diabetes, guys. That is something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemies. Sometimes these people just don't understand if it can be considered being selfish. They love their animals so much they don't want to leave them. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like the opposite of suicide, guys. Kind of funny. I didn't even think about that because it's like uh, when someone's ready to die and you kind of force them to stay alive, that's a pretty selfish thing to do as well, you know? All right, let's check on it. Yeah, and you know, I have years of practice with that, Rika. Years and years. I Since 20, since 2001, since I was 21 years old or so, 20, 21 years old, I have been uh, um, practicing and, and uh, uh, perfecting my positivity training. And uh, I may not practice as, as much as I should, but uh, ever since I... Well, we'll just say whenever, ever since I died, we'll just keep, we'll just start that, you know, when I flatlined everything, all my whole life changed. So it gives me this new opportunity to take an even closer look at myself and what I offer the world, or what, what I can offer the world. Still looking good. It's about another 10 minutes. And to give you guys an idea of the kind of person I was before my positivity training, I just had nothing good to say. I was more dishonest with others than I was with myself. And I was pretty dishonest with myself as well. And uh, so it was, it was a really tough battle to uh, um, combat that negativity. And uh, it, it was as easy as committing to the rest of your life. <laughs> So it's not easy. Uh, being positive, you don't get a day off. You can't have a break. It's, it's, not, in, it's not optional. And uh, um, it is vital to uh, social status. It's vital to uh, happiness. And uh, um, it, it's been a really long road. And uh, that's why I like strangers, guys. 
I, I, I could, I equal one good friend, a long time friend to the, uh, is equivalent to a million first impressions. I love strangers. I love to help strangers have good days. Even if it just means just giving them a compliment, you know, like, oh my gosh, I love your hair. Hmm. Yeah, and you know, your your immune system is extremely dependent on your hormones. And if you're a negative person, then your whole, your whole body is always under stress. Everything everything is in is in work mode. And uh, if you can't relax, then you're you're going to die early. You know. Nice meat. Yeah. Hmm. Tom Zebra just came out with uh, something nice meat it really is nice meat sean smith hello a few times i leave my house oh the few times i leave my house and they're always astonished <laughs> yeah. yeah some people don't know how to respond guys and uh um you know it's like it, it's like if you train yourself to see things to uh looks like it, yeah if you train yourself to see things, opportunities to uh, miss my baby girl dearly. Oh man. Yeah, that's okay, William. It's good to cry. It's a good thing. You don't want to hold it in. You know, some people like to do it in private, which is just fine too. Um, but there's nothing, there's no shame in crying. It's already eat in front of you guys. Of course, we're about to have some meatloaf. Mm. I wonder if we have vegetables. <sighs> it does look like it. Brussels sprouts. Uh, uh, none of that's good. <laughs> I wanted broccoli. Oh, I love me some broccoli. Yeah, and I'm trying to think of all the ingredients uh, that I put in this meatloaf, guys. There's pepperoni, there's A1 sauce, there's uh, mozzarella cheese, uh, the uh, Worcester. I, I, it's hard to say whatever the hell, however you pronounce the Worcestershire, I think the Americans say. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure the English say Worcester. It's a W O R. Well, here I'll just show you guys. That's probably easier. Worcester Shire, Worcester Shire sauce, and uh, it's very salty. This is this is this is a really good thing to do for meats. Maybe a girl would have wanted you to be happy. Let's give him a big smile for her. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I make, I don't just, I don't fuck around, guys. I make everything extremely delicious. It's your stream, you can eat if you want to. <laughs> I load my meatloaf with chopped veggies. Yeah, big chunks. Keeps it moist, adds loads of flavor, plus uh, condiments, and why not? And whatnot. How's your father holding up? I think he's, I think he's very concerned, guys. I... I'm actually quite, uh, I feel quite guilty because it's, um, I'm not, I'm not able, I'm not allowed to do anything. I'm not allowed to dust. I'm not allowed to necessarily clean anything uh, because anything that's dirty is going to be potentially bad for me. Um, but I am doing my best. I, I do the dishes and, you know, I, you know, anything that I can touch that is clean, I do my best uh, to uh, uh, help out with. You know, like wiping down counters and, and things of that nature. Just get better. Yeah. And it's going to be a while, guys. <sighs> months. Very likely months. Do I wear a mask out or around? Um, if, it's a, if, the, if there's somebody coming over, I usually just retreat to my bubble. Uh, and uh, I can wear a mask. But, uh, you know, it doesn't do everything. So 
Uh, the only issue right now is that my numbers are so low that my immune system is so compromised that uh, somebody could sneeze in the room and I, I could be uh, potentially at risk. So uh, I really just have to stay out of contact with everyone, kind of including my dad. But uh, he's he's aware of things. So he, you know, it's like if a stranger came over, they're not used to being extremely careful, then uh, I'm at risk. I'm not even allowed to see my mom or my sister or anything like that because, you know, they handle dogs and uh, uh, people all over. So uh, they, they're, um, you know, they're at their potential risk. You like me? Oh, I like you too, Sean Smooth. And uh, actually, there's these. Pretty sure the mask. Yeah, I've got masks here, gloves, and uh, Santa, super Santa cloths. Uh, this is actually a specific kind of cloth, anti vitricol thing. It, it's specific for. Uh, um, keeping uh, in a, an environment that uh, is for people who have no immune systems. Let's check out the meatloaf. Oh, that's looking good. Oh man, that's looking so good. It's not done. It might need an, another 10 minutes, which is just fine. Wow, I'm actually checking it pretty often. I wonder if I should turn on that light. Hey, Joe. Oh, you decided to... Yeah, Pups has a nice crib. Uh, this is actually a pretty average house, guys. It has taken many years to make this place a, a beautiful home. Uh, more than a decade, for sure. And I, I helped, you know, like those uh, cabinets in the background, they used to just be the plain old, you know, simple border, but we added a uh, trim to it. You know, the granite countertops. You know, this is actually a brand new fridge. Uh, well, I don't know, brand new, but it's new to the house, you know. The uh, and you know, instead of buying a big ass TV right away, he's he's uh, um, done everything he can to make this house very beautiful. Um, and what's even funnier, guys, um, like the first time I ever saw my dad put alcohol to his lips, other than you know, a glass of wine at, at the dinner table during a you know, fancy party, was at my 21st birthday. So when we were leaving the house, like when we left the house, he he wanted to throw parties and he had to learn how to drink. He had to learn what people liked and uh, what his limitations were and stuff like that. And that's just really funny. And I just wanted to share that because uh, he's very, um, I wouldn't say cold. I would say logic. He is a very logic. Happiness. <laughs> Happiness. Vagina. Does anyone get that? Pops has a nice crew. Yeah, and it's a it's a cookie cutter. If you went to a house that was the same layout as this one, uh, it wouldn't have crown molding. It wouldn't have good paint on the walls. Like this uh, this wall here in, the, in behind you is uh, actually done all at once uh, by three different people in order to give this kind of antique look. It's really nice. Belvine whiskey. Yeah. I've been, I've attended some of his parties and they're that he invites strangers, you know, people who don't know each other all coming together to, uh, to mingle and have, have a good time. Um, you know, they're not, they're, they're not your typical like lamp shade over the head kind of thing. They're your, uh, you know, they're fancy. Um, let's have some cheese with that wine, you know? Oh man, that looks so freaking good. It's not done yet though. Let's add uh, five minutes to the timer. I don't know how much time it's been so far, nor do I know how much time. <laughs> what are we cooking? Let's, let's grab it. Freaking delicious ass meatloaf. Bell peppers, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, uh, red onions, Worcestershire sauce, uh, A1 sauce, I'm trying to think, you know, a bunch of eggs, a bunch of milk. Very delicious stuff. Super duper. Super duper delicious. And uh, my dad's also a very private person, so I probably shouldn't talk about him too much. But uh, he's a fantastic artist. 
I have to close the silverware drawer with my butt sometimes. Oh, man. we we'll just go back just a little bit so I know I didn't uh, miss anything. I, I, think I've, I think I've got all that. Yeah, meatloaf. You're going to have gas, honestly. <laughs> I hope so. You know, my <clears throat> the medicines I'm taking really mess with my bowels. And uh, um, I have to, I, I even have a bowel movement log that I have to keep up with. And uh, anytime I go to the restroom or make a bowel movement, I have to jot down everything about it. You know, it's color, smell, and consistency. And amount. And uh, when I weighed myself this morning, guys, I was 102.4 pounds. And uh, that for my tight is not a, a very healthy weight. I'm almost tempted to show you how skinny I am, but you know, we're dealing with food. So we'll maybe save that for an update on my health. Do I weigh my poop? It's an estimate, a guesstimate. This is actually part of my medicine guy. You know, I reached 120 once. <laughs> I reached 120 not too long ago. Well, I mean, when I was working out, stuff like that. When I went to the gym. Eat more ice cream? Yeah, 102 is really low. Like, uh, uh, my skin is extremely tight on my body. You can see all the veins. Like a... You know, your gut, you know, the, this area here, your abdomen, there are so many veins. They just pop out. It's crazy. 190, yeah, but you're also tall. I'm 5'10". 5'10", uh, uh, and uh, I, they gave me an actual body mass estimate, uh, but uh, it's down. It's so, it's it's beyond zero. I have no fat whatsoever. It's, it's actually uh, pretty unhealthy because that means that if I need to lose weight, it'll be from my muscles which are actually down quite a bit. But uh, funny enough, I actually am taking steroids. Although I guess that doesn't have to do with muscle building. Uh, steroids apparently have everything to do with giving you stamina to continue to work out without the fatigue and uh, knowledge that your body is actually uh, undergoing harm from you pushing yourself so hard. What am I eating? Uh, uh, Yeah, that's a healthy weight, Albert. That's a very healthy weight. Yeah, 190. Yeah, that's a, you know, I think that's a healthy weight too, uh, uh, um, GTAC. It's good to see. You. Now you can never be a cop. You might throw it out. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's the same stuff you'd get in trouble with if you were an athlete. Um, but I don't, I'm not working out. I, I can't exert myself. But it has given me all this energy, guys. Oh, man. I, I, I'm awake at night because of the, the steroids I have to take for my lungs. And uh, it has everything to do with the inflammation. It's trying to uh, reduce the inflammation. And, uh, um, and it's also helping me. You used to have a eating disorder? Oh, gosh. Where you didn't eat or where you ate too much? Because uh, both of those are bad. Oh. Yeah, let's check it out. Uh, it's looking like it was about an hour into the video, so it's only been 20 minutes. 210, but my metabolism won't let me. Yeah, you got to be really careful with your... Uh, like your body was aching. Oh, crap, I'm 5'10", I weigh 221, oh my goodness. <laughs> you actually look pretty healthy in your videos. <coughs> you actually look pretty healthy in your videos, though. Oh. Let's try 10 more minutes, and then I think I might add some uh, A1 sauce to the top. Take care of yourself. See you next stream. Of course, Ria. I'm glad that you came by. You know, not everyone. You know, I, I understand everybody has a life to live outside of uh, outside of my streams. So if you if you can't stay forever, I understand. <laughs> like your body was aching. Oh man, maybe I missed something. 
when I was 16 to 20, I used to be very skinny, very unhealthy. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, you know, if you're too skinny, then uh, there's all kinds of problems, including temperature. Like, uh, um, it's really cold for me because I have no fat. I have no layer of fat. Have you spoke to Will at all? I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. I'm sure he's actually watching right now, guys. Um, he's been laying low. He's all fine. Uh, he's he's okay. He's just he's just not interested in, in uh, uh, causing any drama or anything like that. And you know, he kind of tends to be a little extreme on the on the uh, uh, decision making. So I hope that he can I hope he can find a balance. They should work out more. It's hard to find a gym partner willing to work out for longer uh, for work out for longer with me as a blind. Yeah. <laughs> Bulk up. Yeah. You know, you can just grab a, a, a milk jug, fill it with water or sand and uh, use that. Of course, I guess you need more than that. Glad Will was asked about. I hope he is well. I think he is. You know, uh, he, I think he may have embarrassed himself or something like that, and I totally understand. We had a we had a long or you know a conversation about uh, the kind of problems he was having, and uh, the kind of solutions he could go through. And uh, um, I'm glad that I may have. I hope I was able to help. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm not perfect. I hope nobody decides to use me as a a means of of uh, how to <laughs> yeah, improve your life because uh, I can be wrong a lot of the time. And, uh, um, you know, very ignorant at times, so, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, cultures and stuff like that. Oops. Uh, used to trash bags filled with water. Orange ale we used. To. Orange ale we used to use trash bags filled with water. Wow. Yeah, uh, G-Tag, I didn't catch that emoji. It's just a little box. Unfortunately. Oh, in jail. Used to use, oh goodness. Will tends to mention his son a lot. There's very, oop, deep history or thing with that. Yeah, he, it's his only son. So, it, you know, he's going to be very attached. He's going to be a doctor, apparently. He's going to have to, uh, he's going to have to beat those ladies off for the stick. All those ladies want his money. <laughs> Yeah, and Joe, he was sharing his life today, guys. He was giving me a tour of his house, or us, I should say, of cool. It, this was, Will is cool. I was just thinking about him. Yeah, I like Will. Every, everybody has, you know, when you when you go around and making assumptions about people, it's it's extremely hard to make interesting friends. Like, you know, if I was the average person, let's just say Joe, you know, uh, Joe is looked at like... Uh, um, like a, a, you know, not very positive things. And, you know, his subscriber thing, um, uh, his, his subscriber count really reflects that. And I'm just like, they're missing out, guys. You know, Joe and I, we talk on the phone all the time. And uh, he's a very awesome guy. I just wish they could see that. I've encountered Cross... Will once, so I understand where I do miss him. Yeah, he kind of causes a bit of drama for himself sometimes, I think, you know, and that's what we were discussing is that, uh, uh, you know, he really, he really kind of messed up his social, social thing, but it's really fine. I mean, all these strangers on the internet, it don't, don't matter. If they don't like him, they don't matter. Hey, take it easy, G-Tang. See you, buddies. It's unfortunate I have to go. Yep, everybody's got a life out, outside of the YouTube. Good luck with the bulking. bulking. Yeah, I think he's actually on it. Pretty sure he's always at the gym. Take care. Yeah. Go check on that meatloaf. Oh, that's looking good. It's actually looking like it's good enough to pull out and add some cheese. Let's add some cheese, guys. Ah. Uh. That and that. Yeah. All right. 
show you what it looks like, I think, if I refrain from burning myself. Ooh, that's hot. Does that look good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that look good? Ooh, nice and brown. How much longer do uh, I, I guess it's going to be done here pretty soon. Maybe I'll be 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, you got groceries? Well, it's not just streaming, we're going to be long. Okay, it, it, it won't be long. I'm uh, I'm probably going to end it uh, somewhat soon, guys. Um, but it's also almost done, so I just got to add some cheese and uh, uh, put it back in the oven for a little bit, and then and then we can. Sit down. been about 30 minutes. Kind of want to add some A1 sauce to it, but I think I'll actually let people do that on their own. Do 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 Oh, that's so hot. Okay. Just give that a minute. What is the temperature at? Uh, 350. Kind of hope that was enough. <laughs> Background, so I had to say hi. Oh, hey, yeah, I'll let him know. Checks his loaf often. Yeah. It's mostly because I'm not an expert, guys. I do not know the proper temperature it needs to be. I don't know what the uh, uh, the proper protocol is for making meatloaf. 350? I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure 350 is the right temperature. It looks like there's two minutes on the uh, counter, which is probably enough for the cheese. And so I'm going to do some water for mashed potatoes. Good stuff, guys. Don't waste your time cutting up potatoes and mashing them because uh, these people really know how to make good potatoes. Four cups of water to a saucepan. Need some water. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's Yeah, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. Oh, da, 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 da. 350 to 425, depending on where the loaf is and what size the pan is. It's um, it's it's probably good. I'm pretty sure that uh, I was expecting it to brown, but uh, it's also a coated. It's the inside of the pan, and it is brown on the top, so I think it's good. <laughs> Hit it with the broiler. Yeah, <laughs> hey, let's take it. Out. It's looking good. It's definitely boiling. Lots of grease. Mmm. Yeah, trans fat. Ah. Mmm. Gonna fat me up. Mmm. 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 Need some more yogurt here. That uh, um, take, uh, makes some noise, guys. And if you ever want to find out why the kettle makes that noise, uh, more noise before it boils. Um, you just go check out Thunderfoot's channel, and he'll explain exactly why the, the kettle makes a crap ton of noise right before it starts really boiling. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah, for sure. I'm de yeah, yeah. There's, there's no doubt. <laughs> no doubt whatsoever I'm going to enjoy this meal. Anybody who gets their lips on it is going to, um, gets their taste buds on it is going to enjoy this. I'm sorry that uh, I, I can't share with you guys, but um, it's not like I can send it to you. I'm sorry. 
but we don't give you the opportunity to make it yourself. And, uh, um, you know, always change it up too. You don't want to just do it my way. Man, it really says four cups. Huh? Four cups of water. Wow, that's quite a bit. Let's have a peek of me. Yeah, we will soon. In fact, it looks good. It looks done. So let's uh, let's grab those. Yeah. Grab the bits. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks so good. It's so good. There it is. Look at all those thick vegetables. Oh, that's hot. That's very hot. Oh. All right, let me unplug my phone. Oh, unplug it. Slice us off a piece. Uh, free the slice, <laughs> yeah, slice in the mail. Oh, freeze the slice, yeah. Yeah, probably be best to eat it hot. Just gotta release my phone. Let's take a look. Not, um, you know, cheddar, all the boiling grease and stuff. Yeah, it's off. Okay, cool. I think we're good. Alrighty, guys. I think I'm going to uh, yeah, end it there. It kind of buffered for a little bit there. I, I don't know what that was all about, but um, let's just give the. Oop, that's not what I meant. Let's just give you guys the time to say, uh, you know, good night, and and um, maybe I'll do an update. But I think it'd be fine. Maybe I could do a yum. Uh, Yummy. Uh, maybe tomorrow. And just, uh, oh, get the glare out. Peace out all. Yeah. So good to see you guys. You know, and thank you so much for being there uh, in my in my worst times and stuff like that. And and uh, uh, and I will catch you on the next stream. Just give everyone just a couple more seconds to say their thing. Say their light thing. Yeah. yeah good night, William McCall. And the, uh, just so everyone knows, uh, Will Blankenship has actually just messaged me and told me that um, that he is is actually watching. So if you want to say uh, if you want to say what you want to, will he's he's listening? Yeah, enjoy. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. My lips are definitely uh, watery. My jowls. I was wondering about Will the other night because he hasn't been in this in this chair room in a while. Yeah. Oh, chat room, yeah. I miss you, Will. See all these people who want to see you, Will. It'll be fine. You know, just nobody can hurt you. They, they, you know, anybody who doesn't like you can just kind of deal with it. Yeah. I will see you guys for a delicious fight.